In the year 2071, a comet hit the Earth and destroyed the world. Most of the continents have sunken into the ocean, and only 1% of the human race has survived. The Korean Peninsula was wiped out and turned into a desert. Toxic air pollution and limited resources have become the biggest problems the whole world is facing. People rarely leave their homes without respirator masks with an air core built in to convert oxyanion into oxygen. And since the resources have become scarce, the population has been divided into three districts, general, special, and core. Those who are chosen to become a part of these communities are distinguished using QR codes. Those who don't have QR codes are labeled as refugees, who have to live out in the desert, vulnerable to the pollutants. Becoming a delivery man has also become a very respected job. Delivery men, also known as knights, are responsible for protecting and delivering packages to customers on time. They plunder resources, fight against other hunters and travel through the deserted ruins to help other people. Knights play a crucial role within the new system, and for refugees, becoming a knight is the only way to survive in this harsh world. Knights are basically heroes for those in need, even refugees. Just like the legendary knight called Knight 58. He's known as the strongest and most reliable knight. He's an inspiration for those who want to become knights. Even to Yoon Sa Wall, whose dream is to become a knight. Yoon Sa Wall is a refugee who's secretly staying with two sisters who have QR codes. In Korea's new system, it is illegal for a refugee to stay with those who have QR codes. Despite that, he was still accepted by the sisters, Jong Su La and her older sister, Jong So La, who is also known as Major Jong of Defense Intelligence. Major Jong has always been harsh and strict towards Sa Wal, because while she wanted him to get stronger and be able to defend himself, she also wanted him to be safe. So when Sa Wal came back home from another of his adventures, she reprimanded him and told him to stay inside the house for 15 days, starting the day after that. Meanwhile, 5-8 just got back home after his last delivery job when he received a text message from an unknown sender, telling him to go to gate 8 at 5 p.m. The next day, we see two people talking inside an advanced room where they can watch every citizen through all the cameras spread around the whole country. It is the president and chairman of the Chanmyeong Group. Chanmyeong Group is a company that builds districts where citizens with QR codes can live, they're also the main supplier for oxygen. A while later, Ryu Sok, the son of the chairman of the Chanmyeong Group, arrives. The president leaves after her short meeting with the chairman, and Ryu Sok tries to tell her father about the government's meddling with the Chanmyeong Group, but the chairman just dismisses him. Despite being told not to leave the house, Sawal didn't listen and went to where his friends lived so he could ask them to get into trouble together. Night 58 was driving his truck when Sawal and his friends ran towards the vehicle. They climbed the truck from behind, but Night 58 noticed them and started swerving the truck left and right. Sawal's friends fell after getting electrocuted, but Sawal managed to jump in the passenger seat beside Night 58. Sawal challenged 58 into a fight but lost not even a minute later. Night 58 threw him out of the truck and continued on his way. 58 arrived at gate 8 and saw the truck entering through the gate, carrying an air core. Meanwhile, Major Jong went to gate 1 to talk with the head of the guard force but was stopped by a man called Director O. Major Jong had no choice but to leave. Inside the car, Major Jong shared her suspicions about the Chanmyeong group when they saw a truck blocking the way. They stepped out, and Major Jong checked inside the truck when they saw 58. Major Jong interrogated 58, seemingly curious as to why he was there. But the two of them held eye contact, as if they were communicating with each other using their eyes. It seems like Major Jong was the one who called Knight 58 so he could see the Air Corps entering District A. Knight 58 left and went to the labor market in the refugee district. He talked with another knight and told him about the Air Corps that he saw entering the district a few hours ago. The two of them parted ways, and Knight 58 left the district along with the other knights who were there to distribute free oxygen and food to the refugees. Meanwhile, Sawal went back home, and Sula locked him up inside his room so he wouldn't escape again. Later on, 5-8 arrived at the Jong sister's house to deliver a package, and Sula let him in. When she realized that he was the famous knight 5-8, she asked to take a picture with him. When 5-8 left, another delivery man arrived, and Sula opened the door for the guy, confused about why they were receiving another package. But instead of the delivery man, armed men came inside the room and attempted to kidnap Sula. Sawal realized what was happening and broke through the door so he could help Sula. Sawal managed to kill the armed men and went to Sula. When he realized that Sula had been shot, it was too late, as the girl had died. While Sawal was focused on Sula, a guy sneaked up behind him and shot him in the head. Night 58 was still around the area when he heard the gunshot coming from the Jong sister's house. He saw all the dead bodies inside and called for an emergency. One of the armed men was still alive and tried to shoot him, and when he failed, 
he shot himself in the head. Knight 58 saw Saw Wall's finger moving, indicating that the boy was still alive, and took him somewhere else. Major Zhang arrived at her house with the rest of the Defense Intelligence Command. Major Zhang cried as she saw her sister's dead body, but she still professionally did her job as a major. She was approached by Sergeant Lee, who told her that what happened was related to the kidnapping case in the General District. Major Zhang ordered Sergeant Lee to further investigate the case while she looked for Sa Wall. Meanwhile, Sa Wall woke up and tried to leave when he remembered Sula, but 5-8 injected him with something that made him fall asleep. Knight 4-1 handed 5-8 the bullet she got from Sa Wall's head and told him that Sa Wall's skull stopped the bullet from killing him. When she left, 5-8 approached Sa Wall and looked at the cut on the boy's feet, revealing a metal-like bone. Knight 5-8 was called to the special district to give his statement about the incident, as he was the first to report it. Major Zhang interrogated 5-8, questioning him like he was the culprit, but 5-8 refused to say anything else and left. When he left, Major Zhang was left sitting alone, remembering the first time she saw Sa Wall and how she saved him. When she got back home, she was alerted by someone else's presence in the house. She cautiously checked a room and saw Sa Wall sitting on the floor while looking at a photo of him and Sula. Sa Wall told her that he didn't remember anything about the incident, and Major Zhang told him to go to his friends. Still feeling guilty for Su La's death, Sa Wall went to provoke a gang into a fight instead of going to his friends. He let the gang beat him up, and when he got distracted by his friend's arrival, one of the gang members hit him with a bat on the head, causing him to fall into a coma. In Ryu Sok's office, a guy timidly approached Ryu Sok. This is Night 5-7, he was the delivery man who led the kidnappers to Major Zhang's house and the reason why Su La and Sa Wall were attacked. It turns out that Ryu Sok was the mastermind behind the kidnapping and is actually experimenting on the victims. He got Night 5-7 to work for him with a promise to let him live in a special district, but after learning about the killings, Night 5-7 wanted out. Ryu Sok threatened 5-7, telling him that a device was installed at the back of his head and that once he betrayed Ryu Sok or tried to put him in a dire situation, the device would be triggered to kill him instantly. Meanwhile, 5-8 and the other knights began their own investigation into the case. The armed men who attacked the Zhang sisters' house all have the same tattoos, and the knights decided to investigate that tattoo first. They searched for anyone with the same tattoo and found their hideout. In the hideout, they saw unconscious young victims. The knights were enraged at what they saw and carried the victims to safety. Ryu Sok is talking to his father, who was upset when he heard about the news of the disturbance in District A and the murder in the general districts. On the other hand, Ryu Sok is trying to talk down the president so his father can listen to him instead of the president, but Chairman Ryu doesn't trust Ryu Sok. He opened the projections showing all the citizens and the refugees and asked Ryu Sok what he sees every time he looks at them. Ryu Sok answered that he sees stupid people who take advantage of his father's creations. After his talk with his father, Ryu Sok is seen sitting with narrow tubes placed within the darkened vein in his arm. And multiple blood bags are getting transferred into him. He sat quietly as he remembered what his father had said to him. His father didn't trust anyone anymore, not even his own son. Because after the world fell into shambles, everyone went crazy, especially Ryu Sok. Night 5-8 visited the grandpa living with Sa Wall and his friends. He told the old man about Sa Wall's condition and asked him if he knew before then that Sa Wall was a mutant. But the old man didn't know about it. He figured that Sa Wall became a mutant because his father used to work at an oxyanion mine with plenty of radioactive material. In the special district, Major Zhang learned that the minister's office ordered that intelligence command wouldn't be allowed to work on the kidnapping and murder case anymore as Major Zhang is related to one of the victims. But the other soldiers in the intelligence command have backed up all the data and everything else they can access, so they can continue working on the case even without the ministers knowing about it. The next day at the delivery station, Knight had just gotten down from his truck when he heard the sound of objects clattering in the truck beside him. He went to the back of the truck and saw Knight 5-7 attempting to commit suicide. 5-8 cut the ropes, and when 5-7 fell down on the floor, 5-8 questioned him about the tattooed men, and 5-7 admitted that he was the perpetrator of the kidnapping and murder. 5-8 grabbed 5-7's collar, demanding answers, and when 5-7 was just about to confess, the device at the back of his head killed him suddenly. The device was actually controlled by Ryu Sok who triggered the device before 5-7 could even talk. Since 5-7 was a delivery man, he was chosen as the key by Ryu Sok. But now that he's dead, Ryu Sok needs a new delivery man to become a key that will make kidnapping the victims easier for him. But after what happened with 5-7, Ryu Sok doesn't want to choose from the current delivery men. So he decided to put on a show to look for a new key. Sa Wall was sitting all by himself when one of his friends approached him and handed him a flyer. 
The flyer is about a competition being held to become a delivery man. This was an opportunity for Saw Wall to finally achieve his dream of becoming a knight. Knight 58 was driving his truck when he saw Saw Wall standing in the middle of the road. The truck was nearing Saw Wall, but the latter immediately lied down on his stomach, and the truck passed on him. He stepped out of the vehicle and approached Saw Wall, who asked him for a way to win the competition so he could become a knight. Knight 58 declined, but Saw Wall was persistent, and Knight 58 decided to give Saw Wall a chance. He wrote something down on the flyer and gave it back to Saw Wall telling the young boy to prove himself worthy. Knight 58 entered his truck and drove away, remembering the first time he decided to become a knight. Knight 58 was also a refugee. One day, they were attacked by the Chanmyang soldiers. To protect the other refugees, 58 fought against the Chanmyang soldiers. But then he got shot and fainted. When he gained consciousness, he saw himself in a pile of corpses. The corpses were the bodies of the refugees he tried to protect. Among the pile was his friend. Furious, he killed all the remaining soldiers, and that's when he decided to become a knight and help the refugees as best as he could. Back to the present day, 5-8 went to the old training room for the delivery men and met up with the other knights, who also used to be refugees just like him. They had a meeting about the kidnapping case. 5-8 tells everyone that the kidnapping case is about an experiment being conducted by the Chanmyang group, and they are targeting the children of the miners who worked at the Oxyanian mine because of a mutation that was caused by exposure to radioactive materials. Knight 41 showed the analysis she had on Saw Wall when he got shot. Because of the mutation, Saw Wall's bones are metal, and his wounds heal extremely fast for a human. Meanwhile, Major Zhang got wind of the knight's meeting and followed 58. Major Zhang and Sergeant Li prepared themselves to arrest 58 and the other delivery men in case they were doing something suspicious. But when they reached the training room, the door abruptly opened, and Major Zhang saw the knights just working out. Knight 58 took that as a chance to finally talk to Major Zhang privately. He told Major Zhang that 5-7 didn't die because of overworking, but he was murdered. He told her about the culprit's tattoos and how they're also kidnapping refugees. After that, Major Zhang ordered her team to find anyone with the tattoo and to make sure that this mission was done in secret. The next day, Sawal registered to take part in the competition, and he received an identity card with an ID number of Refugee 34. He started training in the old training room with the help of the knights, mainly 5-8 and 4-1. Due to the knights' help, Sawal was able to win the first round of the competition. The defense minister and Major Zhang visited Ryusok. They talked about the construction of the new district, this construction was part of the government's relocation plan in District A, which Ryu Sok is going to use as a chance for him to commit all his crimes without anyone taking notice. After the first round, the next round requires the participants to drive a car. In the second round, they would have to send packages while fighting against hunters. The knights trained Saw Wall on how to drive. And when the day of the round comes, 5-8 and Ryu Sook are both present to oversee the competition. The competition began, and in this round, only two participants can win. The other participants have failed and died. Saw Wall was doing so well in the competition until his car got overturned. He decided to finish the game on foot when he saw number 3's car stop. He helped number 3 with the condition of her letting him ride along with her. When they finally managed to unstuck the car, the hunters appeared, and number 3 put Saw Wall's package in the back seat so the latter could sit on the passenger seat. They drove towards the finishing line with the hunters tailing them. Number 3 got pulled out of the car by a hunter, and another participant, number 1, drove past them. Number 1 was the first to win the round, which means that only one more participant can win the game. Sawal was conflicted about whether he was going to go to the finishing line by himself or help number 3. Not having the heart to leave number 3 to her death, Sawal decided to help her first. The two of them got to the finish line, but only number 3 passed the round as Sawal lost his car and his package got damaged. But due to an injury, number 3 couldn't join the final round anymore, and all the delivery men who were overseeing the competition chose Sa Wall to take her place. Ryu Sok agreed to it, as choosing a refugee would make it easier for him to carry out his plan. Sa Wall went to the special district, where he would have to stay for a while until the final round. Knight 41 was with him, as she is going to be his mentor for the final round. For one taught Sa Wall how to determine the opponent's weakness. The day of the final round came, and a lot of refugees gathered around to support Sa Wall. Sa Wall was brought to the core district where the final round was going to take place. Saw Wall was so happy to be in the core district, where the air is fresh and the place is filled with trees, showing a healthy environment. Meanwhile, 5-8 received information about the tattooed groups. He went to the group's hideout and killed all of them except for one. He took out the device on the back of the man's head and tied him up, 
using the man's phone to find out about their plan. Major Zhang watches as Ryu Sok is approached by Director Oh, who tells Ryu Sok that their plan is proceeding. The final round has begun, and Sa Wall was purposely losing against his opponent so he could learn his moves and find his weaknesses. When the participants were given time to take a break, Knight 4-1 tended to Sa Wall, and when she noticed that his wound was open and the metal bone was showing, for one wrapped his head with a bandage to hide it. 5-8 found out about the plan and immediately called the other knights to go to where the refugees had gathered. That was Ryu Sok's plan all along. Allowing Sa Wall to advance to the final round means that the refugees will support him. Ryu Sok's plan was to kill the refugees, and since the refugees were gathering around, Ryu Sok was able to carry out his plan easily. Sawal finally learned the opponent's weakness, and with just one punch, the opponent was knocked down. The refugees cheered, not realizing the doom that was about to fall on them. 5-8 finally arrived at the location, but he was too late. He witnessed as the explosion took all the refugees' lives. Sawal, on the other hand, was so happy after winning. He took the bandage off his head, exposing his open wounds for the world to see, and that's where Ryu Sok saw the metal bone protruding from Sawal's open wound. After winning the round, Sawal went back to his room, where he remembered the incident that took Sula's life and learned that he's a mutant. Sawal had a medical test and finally got his QR code. Ryu Sok conducted an experiment using Sawal's blood so he could find out if Sawal's blood would help cure his disease. And he was so happy to know that it would. Sawal became Knight 5-7. He then met up with 5-8, who showed him the man they kidnapped before telling Sa Wall about everything. One night, the man who had been kidnapped was rescued by his team. They brought him to a place where he met with Director O. Oh. Director O oh killed the man, not realizing that it was actually 5-8's plan all along. They allowed the man to escape so they could catch Director O oh and interrogate him about their plan. Once they'd gathered enough information from Director O, oh, Major Zhang told the chairman about his son's crimes. The chairman decided to stop his son's madness by handing over the relocation plan to the government, so Ryu Sok wouldn't be able to carry out his plan anymore. Ryu Sok went to talk to his father. It was then revealed that the minister was actually on Ryu Sok's side when he killed the chairman for Ryu Sok. The plan goes on. Refugees were promised that once they got vaccinated, they would be able to live in general districts. But the vaccines were actually poisons that would kill the refugees. After knowing about this, the knights and Sawal's friend tried to tell the other refugees. The refugees panicked, and Sa Wall's friend was shot dead. Sa Wall was then taken to the Chanmyang office, where Ryu Sok is. After learning about Sa Wall getting captured by the Chanmyang soldiers, the Knights and the Defense Intelligence Command joined forces to ambush the Chanmyang group. Ryu Sok, who was getting Sa Wall's blood transferred into him, learned about the ambush and took Sa Wall to the control room with him. Meanwhile, the president was also being held hostage by the minister in the chairman's office. Major Zhang and Sergeant Li went to the late chairman's office and arrested the minister. After hearing that the minister had been arrested, Chan Miang soldiers also surrendered themselves. But Ryu Sok didn't want to admit defeat. He pulled down the control lever and activated it, which would cause the air core to overload and explode. Hearing the alarm, all the citizens panicked and ran away. Night 5-8 reached the control room. He killed all of Ryu Sok's guards, but Ryu Sok held Sawal hostage. Sawal, despite his weak state, was still able to distract Ryu Sok, allowing 5-8 to shoot him. 5-8 took Sawal, and they escaped along with the citizens before the whole district exploded. After everything that happened, the construction of District A has been completed. The president allowed everyone to live in the new district, with or without QR codes. 5-8 and Sawal started working again as knights. And they were both so happy to see that the air pollution was finally decreasing and the sky was getting clearer. 